Hey everyone, I am back. Okay, so I did a video a week ago, more than a week ago, um, before, you know, what happened, happened. Um, but it's a video of me um, getting, receiving um, a new hoodie from Teddy Fresh, so here it is. Okay, so... Um, last week I ordered a Teddy Fresh hoodie from Teddy Fresh. For those of you who don't know who, what Teddy Fresh is, it's a clothing brand that, um, the YouTuber Ethan Klein, his wife, well, they're both YouTubers, but his wife and him, they own this clothing brand and they make these clothes. And I bought the hoodie. And it just arrived, and I've been I've been so excited for this. Oh my god, look how cute that teddy bear is! I am so excited for this. I just been, I've been waiting way too long, and this was a kind of expensive, but it seems worth it. Let me take this off. Okay, and look at how cute that is. Oh my god, it smells so nice as well. This is it. Hang on, you can't even see it. I decided to get like medium. I usually get like large because um, I like baggy clothes, but basically America, the sizes are like way bigger. Am I allowed to say that? There's a lot of dust. <laughs> um, so I got medium. Um, it seems a bit small. Actually, I don't know, hang on. Um, it seems a bit small. But like, it's not like I can just return it because it's from America. <laughs> um, actually, I think it's all right. I don't think it's too bad. What do you guys think? Let me know if you like, let me know if you like this hoodie. I think I like it. I mean, it's not like I can return it anyway, so. What do you guys think? Let me know. Okay, so that was a while ago, and I love that hoodie, but now it's way too hot to wear that hoodie. Anyways, um, my flatmate is away this weekend, and I offered to take care of his dog. This is Pepe, and I am about to go walk him, because um, I need to go out soon, because it's my stepdad's birthday today, and I am going there for dinner. Uh, so, I am going to walk him. Because I have walked dogs before. Because I am a dog person, not a cat person. God, this is going to be funny. Hey everyone, it's Sunday. It's currently 8.20. It's my last day looking after him because my flatmate's coming back today. And I think... <laughs> I think he's starting to really like me. He already liked me before, but like, I think, I feel like we've gotten a lot closer this weekend. I'm still the cat person, but I don't mind dogs, so. Um, the reason why I'm up so early, well, two reasons actually. I literally woke up at like 4.50 and I just can go back to sleep. I tried. He's like trying to give me his paw. He wants me to pet him. Anyways, I woke up at like 4.50 and I couldn't go back to sleep. I tried a lot of times. And the second reason is because I'm actually going somewhere. I was asked by my friend's dad. He does, he does radio for like a Portuguese radio um, here in London. And he asked me to go on the radio, to go there and do an interview for the radio and talk about my music and stuff. So that's going to be fun. I've never done radio interviews before. I'll see if I can vlog it. Maybe. I don't know. It's just going to be a bit complicated because we're going to be speaking Portuguese. Because I speak Portuguese. If you didn't know that, I'm Portuguese. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm a bit scared because my Portuguese isn't as good as it was before. Um, but we move. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. And... This vlog is going live on Wednesday, so I don't really have anything else planned. 
yeah, next week I'm seeing my best friend again. Um, the one whose ear I pissed a few vlogs ago. Um, we're supposed to be hanging out Sunday, next week Sunday. I'm not going to promise anything. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to vlog. Um, but obviously if she comes around, I'm going to vlog her because she's really funny. And my views went up when she was on my vlog. So, uh, but yeah. I guess that's it for now. Um, so I was actually really worried because, let me come a bit closer. Oh, no, that's too close. I was a bit worried because um, I'm using Bolt, um, which is like Uber, but I've got a 50% discount on Bolt. So I wanted to use that. Um, but Bolt doesn't have as many drivers as Uber. So it was saying no drivers available. But then I finally found one, so it's cool. He's coming now, so I'm gonna be on time. I always get so stressed if I'm running late or anything, because I'm never late to anything, but uh, yeah. So I'm happy that it's coming. So I just finished doing an interview with Artur. On the radio. Um, and I think you said that we can, they can listen to it. Yes, yes, you can, you can listen to the, to the www acvluza.com and you can listen all this interview in Portuguese I'll put the link in the description exactly exactly and um, this is a Portuguese radio uh, very interesting if you if you really want to listen we have great music as well great people chatting. he played he played a lot of my songs as well yes of course <laughs> so please keep in touch with with Felipe I'll put the link in the description. You can listen to it if you want, it's in Portuguese. So I just left and I'm trying to get a taxi because if I get the bus, the bus is like three buses and it takes like more than an hour and a taxi is like 15, 20 minutes. Um, but I've been waiting for ages for a taxi and it just keeps going around in circles and like this happened to me before when the guy just kept going further and further away from the pickup point and I ended up cancelling it and had to, to get another one and then another one and then the fare went up so I contacted Uber and I was like look I was supposed to have this guy and he I waited even though he was like three minutes away I waited for like half an hour it was a whole mess they give me like a partial refund so it's fine but I hope that this is not what this guy is doing because I want to get home and I don't want to get on three buses. Oh, I think that's better, okay. Okay, so I am back home. Um, I had a lot of fun uh, doing the interview. It was actually the first time I did like any interview ever, like in the radio or television or anything. Um, we got to talking and turns out that he actually asked me, um, cause we've known each other for years. Um, he's my friend's dad. And he was saying that he wants to get like someone younger to do a program on the radio. It's like a Portuguese radio. Um, and he asked me if I was interested. So I'm going to think about it. I'm going to talk to him about it and I might have a show on the radio, but like Portuguese radio, but still. Um, anyways, I'm a bit annoyed because my Uber driver, not only was he a bit rude, the one I got on the way back, but he decided to go a different route and took a different turn. And there's like really loud music outside. He took a different turn and went through a private road in Dulwich that you need to pay a toll to go through. So he decided to, instead of going the route that he was supposed to go, he was like, let's go a different way and went through it. And I was like, okay, well, he's paying for it. And then I got home and I got an email from Uber with my receipt saying that I had to pay extra because the driver had to go through a toll. And I contacted, that is really loud music. Can you hear it? Anyways, so I contacted Uber support 
and they said, oh, you have an extra charge because the driver had to go through a toll, so you have to pay for it. And I said, well, yeah, I understand that. But the thing is, he didn't have to go through it. He decided to take a different turn and go through a private road. And then they said, and then they said, um, yeah, oh my God, that is so loud. They were like, yeah, well, um, sometimes drivers have to go, if you're going through uh, a crossing or highway or an airport, you got to pay at all. And I said, well, yeah, we didn't go through any of that. It was a private road with a toll that we didn't have to go through. And then they just reply saying, well, um, you could have told the driver not to. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry, what? So I had to pay like a lot more than the original fare because my driver decided to go a private way. I don't, so I'm a bit annoyed with that. But anyways, um, thank you again for all the lovely comments um, about Rocky. Uh, I read every single one of them. Um, I wanted to reply, but the more I think about it, the more upset I get. So I just hearted, I think I hearted all of them. If you've left any more comments, I'll have a look. But um, I try and reply to, to all the comments, but those ones, I just, I try not to think about it. But anyways, um, you can, oh, you can... If you speak Portuguese, you can listen to the interview. I'll leave the link in the description. Okay. Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to do one last clip um, and end this week's vlog. Um, I just came back from the vets and I got Rocky's ashes. Um, and it's, it's really cute. Um, I decided to go for the i think they call it like woodland tube or something um because he was always outside he always enjoyed being outside um uh, so he loves like exploring gardens and stuff so i got this one and i am gonna put it on my desk because i always said that he was gonna live with me someday and now technically he is in case you didn't see last week's cover, I didn't do an outro because I decided to dedicate the cover to Rocky. Um, so at the end I put a picture of him and a few words. Um, but yeah, I hope you are having a good week. I will see you this Friday again with a new cover and then next week with another vlog. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Um, you can also find my music on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, any streaming service. Um, please share so I can get more subscribers because I, I need more subscribers. Um, someone commented on, I think it was last week's vlog, when I said that my goal is 3,000, someone commented saying, that I that shouldn't be my goal, like my goal should be 5,000. So I guess my new goal is 5,000 subscribers. So please share it with anyone you know, try and help me reach 5,000. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you this Friday.